again high. Because you keep drinking, drinking it. it. Get out of here. Okay. Hey! All right. So now we have repeat offenders that were here just five minutes ago. Sex offenders. Because Whoa. they are the slut junkies. And they are our last band of the day. Jurgen is a slut junkie. And, you know, I feel kind of almost like the ant to the slut junkies. because Except for ant. You in wouldn't have known these guys <laughs> if it wasn't for Ruin Who. And, um, oh, yeah. like so who do you want to meddle or want you with? Both. All right. Yeah. And a bag of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want it all. Because, and I want it now. Yeah. So tell these slut junkies what's going on in your world. I always talk. Well, we know this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you too slow. Anyway, now, we just had a Halloween show for Frankie Wood in Brooklyn. That was pretty fun. Brooklyn this man Brooklyn. was, uh... He was Gene Simmons. Yeah, he's the black Gene Simmons. He's a hot spot. Yes. No, we can't hot We got it, we got it, we got it. We got it. So you, were, you, you were kissed. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, it was my second year being kissed. Someone from Kiss. Uh, this time I was playing bass, so I decided it was Gene Simmons. Plus, I have the Willow speech, so... Do you, do, do you have the tongues? No, no. I don't even want to show it right now. <laughs> His tongue is so huge that he didn't want to upstage Gene Simmons. That's wow. The problem. And, and who are you now, Peter? Uh, I was supposed to be Jesus, but I couldn't get the costume together. So That's okay, because you look so special. What kind of costume do you need for Jesus? Except you need, like, a white robe. You need, a, <laughs> at least some kind of, like, reddish and brown type thing going. Like, you look like you're you, in a desert. Yeah. I couldn't find a white robe, so I was just a priest. Because yeah. our last song that we played that night was uh, Anal Raping Christian Rock and Roll. So, Which is so right, we Guitar as a priest was kind of interesting. So are you guys going to sing for me? Well, we got some new... Yo, anyway, we're on this show, and every time we come on this show, we always talk about sex and drugs, and we're half tuned up. So maybe for once, we should actually talk a little bit about band news. Uh, we did a show for Frank to blow off some steam, but in all honesty, the Slut Junkies has a whole new image, a whole new direction. I think that we're going to go more for the... Um, uh, uh, I, I guess you could say we're... Well, that's what makes us the Slush Junkies, is that the four of us just sit there and, uh, you know, Quentin came up with a new riff, which we're turning into a song called Can Road I to hear Hell. Can I music? I'm we have a new song called Road to Hell on the Way, which is Quentin uh, came up with. And um, it's great because we record, no, no, we record our practices, and it's funny because I'm listening to the tape, and it shows you how the song gets made. I'm yapping away with Ivy and Anthony, and Quentin starts playing this bass line, which is trying to do a song. Anthony has two or three new riffs that we're turning into songs. We got all the old tunes. This song has a new face. We're reformatting all of our old songs in, into a whole new direction, and we have all these new songs. And I think now this band here is just a pure element of everyone's personality thrown into a band as opposed to a band that's trying to project an image. And uh, I felt like I used to have to try in the social like pieces to now we just show up and we just have Sounds a great, great. time. We jam. So when's your next gig? We don't have anything, bro. If you want to take off, we're working on an album. Yeah, we're working on that album. We get offers left and right. Susie Von Q, you offer us something. I mean, Frank's offering us gigs. Happy birthday to Frank. It's 10 days of yes, work later. Uh, and I keep, you know, that, that is the problem with our event, is that we get all these songs halfway in the works. We do. We, so many people want to work with us, and we come out. We find, find that we, we have to spend all of our practice time working on the show. And I think that we have to humbly decline some gigs because okay. we want to get this album out. I mean, the music is there. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's all there's, there's music. There's a lot of turnover. Like, we had a recently turnover in terms of the lineup, so now we have, like, a solidified lineup, so we're just kind of, like, trying to run forward with it, put together, and just kind of make some music, you know? Sounds good. So, I love yeah, the photos. What's your website? How do people find you? Uh, just come to uh, my house on Saturdays. <laughs> we're always jamming and cooking food. And where's that? I can't say because I have private investigators following me around. They're trying to fuck me over because I got hurt. I just want to say one thing to them. <laughs> Bite my ass! Okay, you're <laughs> so okay. your ass. That's what they're trying to investigate. Sit balls, chopper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, this is the Slut Junkies, and you met all through here, and you guys... Because of Ruth Star, we're together, yeah. You guys they're are real. really adorable. You make a cute band. Ivy and You're like the Blassie Freddie Blassie of us. We're like the WWF, and you're like Freddie Blassie. Uh, then I want to see you on the floor right there, and I want to see you guys wrestle. Wait, my butthole out? Anyway. I want to see you wrestling. I want to know. You want us to do a song. Yeah, I'd like to hear a song. Let's just make one up. Let's do it. Let's do a Wall Street song. I was thinking that myself. Let's give us a little something. All right. So we got to put a baseline first. You can do it. I'll do the beat. Do the beat. Do the beat. I'll do the words. Come on. I'm doing the bass with the drums. 
Whatever. Okay, let's do it. I don't know anything. Yo, I'm downtown and I feel the heat. I think it's time to I be on Wall Street. Do you have corn? Do you have meat? We're gonna be here for a while. Can you smell my feet? I'm stinking, cause I remember Abe Lincoln, the founding fathers. Can I get a dollar? I'm starving, cause MCs wanna buy Lamborghinis. I just want some Lamborghinis, so feed me. Occupy Wall Street. Stand here with a sign. And that's why. So not why get real. Occupy Wall Street. Get down with Bob Steel. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. 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 By raping your mind with uh, heavy metal that's uh, Christian oriented, which is ridiculous. Just if you believe in Jesus, the believe in Jesus. We don't have that yet. We don't have to get like a cool vibe with a cool rock band to make us believe in Jesus. Like you know, just believe it. We got Jesus right here. Get on there. Yeah. All right. So uh, last shout outs. What do you got? Shout out to the Slut Junkies. Woo! <laughs> no. Sorry. Shout out to uh, Ivy. I don't know. I'm just here. I'm here. Shout out to something in the question who came out to support our game. Shout out to the rude ones. Yes. But hey, I thank you, man. Happy birthday. I I have a gig tomorrow night at Smith's Tavern, and um, it's going to be really fun. Um, chicks throwing bricks are playing. They were on the show. Wear the weeks dress. Ago. Very cool. I wore the dress at a gig last week, and it was. <laughs> Went over very well. That was well. my phone by ring, but I am happy to see you. Oh. <laughs> and then, oh. then Audie Love is playing tomorrow night as well with a new project called Lips. And it's going to be really That's fun right. in Park Slope. And then what? next Thursday, lines, lips and November 17th, we'll be playing at Webster Hall, opening up for the Indecent and Mickey no, Lee. Nice. Is Webster Hall named after Webster from the show in the 80s? You know, I don't know, because it used to be the Ritz, and I used to work at the Ritz. Remember Webster in the show? It's he not. was like different strokes, but again, no, he was Webster. He was a little black kid that couldn't he age. Lewis. Yes. He, he was like Lewis. 15 yeah. more, but he looked like he was 15. And George Papadopoulos was his dad. Remember that guy? Yeah. Papadopoulos. I, I just, know Papadopoulos, yeah. but not didn't, like that. Didn't, like, wasn't Webster like Gary Coleman? Yeah, but cuter. That's the same yeah. thing, I think. I want that. Yeah. What the hell, yeah. man? But he was cuter. Yes, Webster was cuter. Well, well let them all be the angels in our room, and um, let's thank the world for this day, and this yeah. is the day that John and Yoko met at a gallery in London. And it's also it's the, the day that we made like corporate after Napoleon. <laughs> yes, Napoleon <laughs> brought the car to the chart. Wait, what did he say? What did he say? Today was the day that John Lennon's career ended. Oh, it's messed up. Well, the Beatles, at least. Why? You know, you know, know. Oh, because you met Yoko. Let me no. say something. Oh, wait, how is he? Anthony. 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 So, let me just say something. I always want, you know what we should wait, call her? We should change the name of her Anthony. Yoko Onos. Okay. Or how about the Indiana Jonas Brothers? The you like Onos. That? Wait, Anthony, I love oh, how opinionated you are. I love how smart you are. Uh, however, funny. however, yeah. do you believe in anyone else's opinion? Yeah. Do you really? I mean, if it seems if correct, it, if it's backed by the right advice. It, it could be different from mine if you are backed by some kind of factual information and not just bullshit. So Yoko yeah. and John met in 1966. 66? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Beatles ended in 69, right? 70? <laughs> the Beatles broke up in 70. 71 or something. Okay. I don't know. I was talking to my dad. He was going around and sword on Yoko. You can. But, I mean, truthfully, how can you just pinpoint... One person is the Paul McCartney knew the Beatles because he was jealous. No, but there's a certain yeah. the Beatles. The whole the whole it be. It's, it's not, not it's not the whole, 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 whole documentary, Paul McCartney, Louis B. It's 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 not my fault. It's not my fault. Whatever, fuck I hate the Beatles. Those stones. You're in relax. I'm not bringing their girlfriends to practice and Yoko was like kind of like she was the first one. They used to bring a bed in for her. Yeah, you can bring papers to practice. That starts fucking up, you know, camaraderie when you, like, start bringing the bullshit, you know? Yeah, you know what? The stones. That's what I can say. But 
because they rule. But anyway, really listen, John yeah, Lennon, John I love John Lennon. Lennon. The Beatles, yeah. All right, the Stones are celebrating a 50-year anniversary. Goodbye! Right. All right. We're going to quote. We're going to stop now. Is this the end of the show? Yes. Okay, where's the outro music? Is this Jurgen just and Saturday Night Live? Or the, and um, yeah. I think he got his... <sighs> Yeah, the crowd's going wild. And um, and we're gonna say goodbye now. You ready? Bye. You ready? And the crowd goes wild. Hey! What a crazy ending of a day! Hey! Stop! Oh, pull out my penis! Hey! Goodbye, everybody! <laughs>